Hey guys, it's Alam. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the 64 to 64 bit Farland look like in the other dimensions. Now, before you get into it, I actually built this Never Portal on top of this floating island here, because that's actually where I built my first ever Never Portal on this seed back in March of 2012 from my first main, true main world. But let's hop in here. So we're in the nether now. And now, uh, slash TP, 53 quadrillion, 905 trillion, 378 billion, 859 million, 432,480, and then 55, and then 53 quadrillion, 905 trillion, 378 billion, 859 million, 432,480. Alright, so just load up, just load up, just load it up really quickly as I actually checked this out on camera before. And as uh, I checked this out on camera. Uh, so I checked this out off camera. I meant be, like be, like a few hours before I before I recorded this. Wow, no, the extremely stretched fire over there. But you can see the farlands generating in the Nether in this mod as well. And since I can't move around, I will actually need to teleport my way into the corner farlands. Let's see, can I use like chill that chill that chill that eighty? Yeah. Yep. That actually works in this mod. And I think I'm inside of a block right now. I'm actually having and, and I'm actually having trouble targeting some blocks. That that, that was actually a vanilla 1.2.5 bug. I had the same issue when I put myself at the corner of a block, the exact corner of a block, and, and it fancy edit in the old. Yes, but anyway, you can you can see that it, it is pretty much like the regular corner farlands in the Nether, and no, the again the insanely stretched fire. All right, now I would teleport further out, but but I might end up breaking the world as there is as, there, as I heard there might the the collisions get wonky when you get into like the quintillions range. And, I, and in the nether, I have a very high chance of ending up inside of a block. So that's pretty much all there is to see here. So now let's head to 10, let's head to 15, 95, 10. That's the rough coordinates where my, of where my portal is. So now, let's head back in the overall. Now we need another. And for whatever reason, the game actually put me in a different out in a different portal. Now let's bring out our eyes of Ender. So the stronghold generation is actually not affected by the 64-bit mod. The stronghold is actually in the same location that I remember it being on this world, which is in a swamp biome somewhere off in that direction. Yeah, you'll see it when I throw the eyes of Ender. So if we keep heading in this direction, if we keep heading in this direction, eventually we'll get to the stronghold. Yeah. So while I did test in the, in the nether off camera, and I got stuck there for a second, almost got stuck there for a second, That was weird. That was kind of weird. But let's keep heading in this direction. And eventually we should get to the swamp biome of the stronghold. And apparently there is an ice plains biome over there that I don't that I actually don't remember on this seed, but I do remember but I do remember the swamp land biome that this that the stronghold was under. Alright. That one just broke off. Alright. So it's. So I, this is getting kind of repetitive. But we should get to the stronghold any minute.
Yeah, it was right around here, under one of these lakes. There is an Ice Plains village in the distance. These, those do exist, and those do exist as an intended feature in the newer versions. But I don't know if their existence in this mod is intentional, or well, it might be intentional. Anyway, anyway, the eye went under, just went straight down. So I think we're almost there. Actually, no, we still have a bit of a way to go, apparently. Yeah, that one just went straight underwater, so we should find a stronghold any minute now. So now let's dig down here. So now let's dig down here. It's kind of dark. Just bring out a torch. Keep digging down. There, we should end up in the end portal room. There. This is before there were any sounds for that. But now let's hop in the end portal here. Now I actually don't think I now I actually don't need to kill the dragon or anything. Let's just type in slash TV G for pain nine five trillion there is a billion air nine million four and three two thousand four hundred and eighty. And one hundred and fifty three quadrillion nine five trillion there is a billion air fee nine million four and three two thousand four hundred and eighty. There. And now you will see the end far lands begin to generate. Since this, however, since this was before additional end islands were added in 1.9, there will be nothing. There will be just void right up to the end far lands. And there are some obsidian pillars generating. I forgot to explain in my Sky Dimension Far Lands video a while back that their different shape is caused by the interpolation intervals on the x and z on the x and z versus the y axis being switched it's probably end i don't know if there's any end crystals on top or i just can't see them all right now let's head back to the middle here, and you can see the core farlands generating as well. And actually, actually, let's head to two quintillion in the end farlands. Why? Because why not? And then one fifty, and then two quintillion. Apparently, I'm inside of an end crystal here. What? Is this end crystal just following me? You can see it's basically the same as in the overworld if they're repeating patterns. There's still obsidian pillars generating. Alright. So, yeah, guys. That's pretty much all I've got for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing to my channel, and if you haven't already, and hit the bell and click on all for all notifications, and goodbye.